Hey, good morning, Jeff from Bygone Classics here with our just phenomenal 80 Pontiac Grand Prix showing just 14,000, approximately 78 miles. Going to do two different exterior walk around videos. First one we're going to do outside, and then the second one we'll do inside. This car wears 100% factory GM paint. Uh, it, it's it's agate red, and and man, sometimes they call this Cinnabar. I think that might be the Chevy version. Uh, but what an absolute time capsule this car is. Now, some of you are noticing, yeah, the filler the filler panels. This car came out of Illinois. Um, you have a lot of temperature fluctuations, and those filler panels do not hold up well. In fact, they crumble. They just crumble. the The good news is is that there are a number of different reproduction options out there. The problem is there are a number of different reproduction options out there, and I wasn't sure if somebody wanted to go with the ABS plastic version, the fiberglass version. Did you want to go single stage paint to keep it, you know, looking as factory correct as possible? Or did you want to base coat, clear coat it? And I just thought I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it for the, for the next caretaker to do what they choose. Um, but again, the good news is that everything's available. The paint is available and uh, you'll be able to, uh, to get that taken care of. But every part of this car shows like a 14,000 mile survivor should, where you don't have any of the lacquer checking or anything like that that you do see on so many GM paints from this era. The car did have to sit outside occasionally in the summer, so you do get pick up a couple bird bird dropping stains there. I think there's a couple here on the trunk. Now maybe it was on the hood. Again, I'm nitpicking, but that's that's really the extent. Um, of the flaws in the paint. As we go around the car, I'm gonna pick up a little something that dripped here. You can see two stains going down that front passenger fender. Got a ding there. Look how nice the door handle inserts are. And look how nice the chrome is there on the door handles, all the trim. The vinyl top on this car is, is pristine, absolutely pristine. It has a great color. It's super, I'm going to use the word, super supple, really supple and soft. Um, not showing any signs of cracking or feeling like, like if you look at it wrong, it might, might start to deteriorate. Even this trim panel back here along the rear window usually starts to wear quite a bit, and that's nice and bright white. Um, moving along to this passenger side rear quarter, we've got a mark here. Again, you have to remember, even though the car has just 14,000 miles, it's been stuck in a garage for 40 years. And so stuff gets opened into it. Um, it, it remember, for some people, these are, just, these are just cars in their garage. Uh, bumpers. Are, are just immaculate, absolutely immaculate. Bright gloss, the bumper guards look fantastic on this car. All the lenses are super clear. Emblems are, are stunning. Trunk opening, check this out, this is cool. So uh, this pinstripe was all hand painted and you can see there where they gob just a little bit that is absolutely not wax because so it doesn't doesn't come off and so i'm leaving that i think stuff like that is is just really slick just kind of show little imperfections there from when the vehicles were new it's the dealership that it was sold new from uh that matches up with all the paperwork that we have for the car as well a little mark there And that's it, gang. That's it for flaws on this car. That's 
That's all we got. 14,000 original miles. Look at how beautiful all that original pinstriping is. Uh, the paint on the car shows as well <laughs> as 1980 General Motors paint will. Because um, this, this paint was terrible in 1980. Uh, it, it was prone to checking. It, it, it just it, it looked terrible. It had lots of orange peel in many cases. Uh, and, and so this car is... <laughs> it doesn't show any of that. It's 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 so cool. Oh man, do I You can tell I'm so excited. Even the door guards, nice and bright white. You'll see in the other videos and photos, I, I need you to look at everything. Uh car's completely rust free. Some of you might be like, well, why aren't you going down below? Why aren't you taking a look? Look, I got photos of all that stuff. It, it the, the car, the car is rust free and as honest as it gets this oh goodness i hope it ends up in a a great collection don't think i hit the roof yet let's go ahead and show you that and again just trim nothing nothing's faded the only thing i did discolor was this cowl trim here i almost wonder if maybe there was a piece of protectant on here that maybe didn't come off but I, I don't, I'm not going to goof with it. I'm going to leave that. 1980 Pontiac Grand Prix LJ. 14,000 original miles, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any questions, my name is Jeff. Don't hesitate to reach out. I'm happy to help uh, any way I can. Before we wrap up, I just want to show you two all original headlights in the car. One last flaw that I didn't point out. Got a crack in the grill there and a crack there. Um, owner told me that when he had pulled into the garage, right, sometimes I'd bump, I'd bump up in front, and then I knew to stop. It's like, what? What? But we, we got to remember, they, these were just cars for some folks. But, again, gorgeous chrome. Oh, what a time capsule. All right. Thanks again. Take care.